Welcome back to Jersey Matters. A call for an Uber ride turns into tragedy for a New Jersey woman. And now a new law in her name to make your Uber ride safer. Our Ellen Kaloje tells us about Sammy's Law. Thank you, Larry. Samantha Josephson grew up here in the small town of Robbinsville, and then she went off to college in South Carolina. And that's where police say a man impersonating an Uber driver viciously murdered her. And the entire country was in shock, but especially people here. And that's why two lawmakers teamed up with the governor to pass a law to try to prevent this from ever happening again. I'm telling you, this is nothing that you would ever want to do. You don't want to go through this. Right after her death in April, Samantha Josephson's father tells mourners that he refuses to let another person go through what happened to his daughter. Sammy went to a bar at the University of South Carolina and called an Uber. Surveillance video shows she gets in, but police say the man driving wasn't a licensed Uber driver and instead took Sammy to a wooded area and killed her. Instead of just grieving, though, her parents lobbied lawmakers to actually do something. So two politicians from Sammy's district really stepped up. Senator Linda Greenstein and Assemblyman Dan Benson helped craft a bill to get to the governor's desk quickly. And then soon after the vigils, we were in touch with the parents. Um, but we started working in Trenton to make sure there was legislation. Um, and the first thought was, again, looking at the ideas that the parents had. And, and I mean, again, what strength and resiliency from, from this family to take this tragedy and really uh, take Sammy and, and, and her name and really to push forward a way to keep everyone safe. I really wish I had gotten to know her. But the things we heard at the various events show how special she was. And through that loss, we can help to save the lives of others with this law. The law requires rideshare companies such as Uber and Lyft to show more identification on all cars to help customers know their driver is legitimate. This includes two markers on the front and back windows. The company must also give out two credential placards with the driver's name, picture, and license plate number, and give drivers two barcodes that passengers can scan to confirm their identity. We will need to take precautions to make sure that a simple convenience does not turn into a dangerous situation as it did for Sammy. That is what we are doing today. The law itself is straightforward, and it ensures that Sammy is able to carry a legacy that long outlives her short time here. If this was already in place, I would not be standing here. Samantha would, Samantha would be alive. It's sad we had to have this happen, to have this uh, law passed, but uh, I think it's just for the better and they should pass it, not just in Jersey, but any state. It doesn't matter where you live, what you do, but it can happen anywhere for anybody and that's uh, that's unacceptable. And thankfully with the leadership of Senate President Sweeney and Speaker Coughlin, everyone kind of joined together and said we're going to get this done and the timing was right and we were able to kind of get all the stars aligned and everybody was just rowing in the same direction so it just made things work. Not doesn't always happen. No, in fact, I, I've worked on legislation. Even similar things were about safety and other things that have taken six years to get done. This was a case where um, we were able to convince folks that there was imminent need to get this done to protect people's safety. Now, in addition to Sammy's law, there's another movement that started after her death. It's called hashtag what's my name. Now, that means when an Uber or a Lyft driver pulls up, they're supposed to ask your name. You're never supposed to say, hey, are you here for Ellen? It's just another tip that we all need to keep in mind when we're using an Uber or a Lyft. Reporting from Robbinsville, I'm Ellen Kaloje for Jersey Matters. All right, thank you, Ellen. When we come back, a sports camp with an emphasis on reading and writing. We'll take you there when Jersey Matters continues.